Now, uh, one of my concerns is that uh, uh, this controversy about uh, uh, transgenics and biotechnology has gotten out of balance because there is some who, in many countries, ideologically, uh, are afraid of the private sector. I think we need the private sector. We need to work together. But we also, in the public sector, have to continue to have good research programs using molecular uh, genetics, biotechnology. Uh, who's going to train the scientists for industry and for uh, other sectors of society? The universities do, but they have to have research monies to carry on viable programs. So I think that this is something that we need to refocus on. And then look at how the, wor how we the world spends its money. $900 billion a year going into armament and military. And yet we can't build roads in countries that are fertile seed beds for all kinds of planting of extreme different kinds of isms, including terrorism. We've got to change this and get more funds coming into uh, agriculture for Africa especially, but also for still parts of Asia. If you young people want peace and tranquility for your families, it won't be built on human misery. And look at what we haven't done in education. At the present time, adult illiteracy, we've got nearly 900 million adults, and two-thirds of those are women. And the women has the greatest influence in most of those countries on what happens to the children and the future generation. And there's still 120 million uh, primary or children that should be in school, not in school. What waste of talent. And in closing, let me say to uh, you students, uh, the world is typified by the standard of living here in the USA the levels that have been reached at the present time compared to back in my boyhood. It's a different world. We keep it that way, but uh, uh, you know, ease and security are deceiving sometimes. It destroys initiative and imagination and creation, creative ideas. And to you young people, I want to ask how, ma how many of you are really utilizing to the high degree the potential talent that you inherited, inherited from daddy and mother and grandparents and great grandparents to develop those skills, whatever discipline you were going into. Are you satisfied with mediocrity? I hope not. The world needs leaders, leaders. So reach and stretch for that star. You'll never reach the star, but if you stretch your potential capacity enough with the help of your professors and your uh, associates, you'll get some stardust on your hands. And with that as a catalyst, you'll be surprised what you will be able to do for you, your family, the community, the state, the nation, yes, and the people of the world. And finally, you can't build peace on empty stomachs and human misery, as Lloyd Boyd or the first director of Fowl said many years ago. Thank you all very much.